Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is 7th and the last part of this tutorial series and we are left with our delete and update functionalities by swiping and in this part we'll do that and yeah, uh, I'll provide source code in the description box of each part so if you have some errors, you can try to match your code with mine and yeah, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, uh, do so, link is in the description box there I post uh, some stuff related to programming and Android and if you have some major issues, you can ask me there as well. So yeah. So in on create method after this note view model dot get all notes, we'll write new item touch helper, and in here we'll pass new item touch helper dot simple call back, and in here we'll pass drag direction as zero, and then item touch helper dot left comma sorry or uh, item touch helper dot right so these are the swiping directions and let me just delete this jet bends so yeah in here we got uh, two methods so first is the on move and second is the on swipe so we are not uh, dragging anything so we will not implement this on move method but uh, we are swiping so for that we have to implement this methods so first we will check if the direction is equals to item touch helper dot right means user want to delete the item so for that we will call our node view model and it's method that is delete and in here we need to pass note adapter dot get note uh, remember we created this method in our adapter class to get the note and here we need to pass the position so view holder dot get adapter position so this way it will delete the uh, that note from the database and then we can display one toast as deleted successfully so note deleted successfully so then else if user want to update the item is if we swipe to the left side so updating is a little bit confusing so i'll suggest you to watch uh, now consciously so else uh, first what we have to do we'll create one intent 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 equals to new intent and we'll pass main activity dot this and then add new activity add note activity dot class so for updating we need to pass the existing data into add note activity and then we'll set that uh, data to the edit text means the title description as priority so yeah for that what we'll do sorry intent dot put extra and add note activity dot so for id we didn't created any constant so let me just duplicate this line so this will be extra id and instead of title this will be id so in here we'll write extra id and then we'll call our adapter so note adapter dot get note and here we need to pass this view holder dot get adapter position and then dot get id semicolon so we can just duplicate this line three times yeah and then instead of id this will be title and get title and instead of id this will be desk and this will be desk description okay and this will be priority and this will be priority okay and then we'll call our start activity for result method this one and we'll have this intent and then we need to pass the request code so at the top as we have created one request code for add note 
we'll just duplicate this and this time this will be edit and we'll change the value to 2 okay so now in here we just need to call that constant edit note request code so as we are passing the data from here we need to receive it as well so in here just after this right intent edit intent equals to get intent and we'll check if the edit intent has some extra that will be extra id then we'll just uh, copy this line and we'll set the title to edit note and then we'll just set the data so first m title edit dot set text so this will be intent dot get string extra dot get string extra and we need to specify the extra title and then our number picker so number picker dot set value then edit intent dot get int extra and here we need to specify the key so that is extra priority and this provide the default value as one so yeah uh, now we pass the data for main activity and we saved it using intent and then we have set that data to our widget so title description and number picker then we'll come back to main activity and on activity results over here we need to add another condition for editing the task or editing the note sorry so in here we'll write else if the request code is equals equals to edit note request and result code is equals to result okay okay so in here first uh, we will receive the id so int id equals to our data dot get int extra this one add note activity dot extra id and then the default value let's throw a minus one here because you know minus one is not id and with the help of this we'll recognize uh, if user want to update or not in the add note activity so we'll i'll explain you that later then we'll check if id equals equals to minus one we'll display some failure so note can't be updated and we'll just return from here return and if this is not the case what we'll do we'll first uh, collect all the data so first string title data dot data string extra and this will be add note activity dot extra title then string desk equals to data dot get string extra add note activity dot extra task and then for the priority so in priority equals to data dot get int extra add node activity dot extra priority and let's provide default value here as a one so then what we'll do we create one node object so note note and we'll pass this data so new node title comma desk comma priority and again we need to set the id so note dot set id so here we'll pass that id then we'll call our note view model dot update and we'll pass in this note okay and we can display one toast as 
not updated so yeah so now in the add note activity we have to do one thing that is uh, when we are passing this uh, title description and priority we need to pass id as well so for that what we'll do we'll create one id int variable and then we'll call get intent dot get int extra and extra id and the default value will be minus one so here we'll just have one check if id is not equal to minus one then means means it is a valid update then uh, what we'll do we'll call this data intent dot put extra this will be extra id and we'll pass the id and then send column so yeah that's pretty much stuff so now we are done with the update and delete functionality but one thing what we can do in item touch helper so we need to attach this to recycler view okay so in here we'll write attach to recycler view and we'll pass in our recycler view so yeah that's uh, pretty much stuff and in this video we will not add uh, background colors while swiping because uh, it's a lot of code and it is out of scope for this tutorial series uh, maybe I'll, I'll upload a separate video on that topic in here we, we didn't apply else conditions so by default first it will uh, change the set title if the if user want to update the note it will set it to edit note but uh, again after this block it will get to this and this line of code will run and again it will change the title to add note so we don't want that to be happen so yeah again what we'll do uh, in our activity main we'll change the background color to orange dark and let's try to run the app so it is installed so our app installed and as you can see i have added some notes here so yeah uh, let's try to edit the first note so i'll swipe it to the left side and yeah it is taking me to the update page so instead of title i'll write title new and let's change the priority to 10 and let's see where it goes so as you can see uh, it has been sorted by priority so it is over here again let's uh, try to delete this one so yeah it is deleted successfully so both the functionalities are working fine let's make it title one and let's set the priority as one save so yeah it's working fine let's uh, click on this menu and delete all nodes so all the notes has been deleted again we can add new note so let's type anything keep the priority as six so yeah that was all for this tutorial series i will provide the source code uh, in the description box and yeah if you like the tutorials uh, do subscribe and like the video so yeah thank you for watching